Hello friends, uh, this is Nirmal here for Technique and in this video we are going to review a popular app uh, for locking uh, your apps on your phone and along with uh, photos and other personal stuff. It's called the Hexlock app for Android. So Hexlock uh, is a popular app on the Play Store and uh, you can download it free of cost. So th this comes with the options to lock your apps. It has multiple profiles. Uh, you can uh, so you can protect your photos in the phone. So we'll uh, explore all those features. So we have downloaded the Hexlock app. So we are running it for the first time. So we'll uh, uh, show you how to set it up and also have a look at what all features it offers. So we have this Hexlock app. We have this uh, option. Uh, you can choose a pin, password, uh, I mean pattern or the fingerprint. So you can select any of uh, uh, the security mechanism. So if your phone has a fingerprint, so you can use a fingerprint as well. So let's just uh, fingerprint enable. And you can choose a backup password and let's say it's pin. So let's just uh, give a uh, default pin. So now we go. So now we have set up a, a pin uh, that is the backup password uh, in case fingerprint uh, sensor does not work. So this is the interface. You can see welcome and we have this work. So we'll talk about that uh, in a while. Uh, so you can just swipe uh, from here and uh, you can see all the apps listed. So this is under the work profile. You can uh, see all the apps. Uh, they're listed under social, uh, media, tools and others. So you can uh, select which all apps uh, you want to access. For example, let's log the gallery. Then uh, let's log uh, Chrome, YouTube. So now let's come back. And if you see here, you can uh, see App Locker and Media World. So these are the two options. App Locker, as the name indicates, it lock your apps and protect uh, others from accessing your personal apps. Say, for example, your email apps, your Facebook, Twitter, all those things are your personal uh, social networking and other email uh, clients. So you don't want others to access it when you give the phone to others. So that's App Locker. And Media World is where you store your media files and protect it from uh, uh, others from accessing it so so now we have logged our three apps so, so you can see here we have selected three of the apps now what you need to do is uh, click on uh, the work so that's the profile we are going to uh, um, enable it right now so once uh, since this is Android 6.0 marshmallow you need to provide a uh, necessary permission so once you're done that permission so you can just come back and uh, now uh, uh, we have uh, trying to lock it so scan the fingerprint and now you can see uh, the profile is enabled now we have this white background that means the profile file is enabled so now we have logged three apps so let's open now one of the app uh, the chrome app and see if uh, it asks for the password so there you go now it uh, asks for the password uh, you can either scan the finger or uh, use uh, the pin which we have set up as a backup so let's uh, use the fingerprint and now you can see the app is unlocked so that's how it works so now let's go back here and uh, show you some other options so you can see here you can just swipe uh, to create multiple uh, uh, profiles and activate uh, uh, different profiles here so if, for example if you're at work you don't want uh, your colleagues to access some of your personal work apps and also a social networking app so you can enable the work profile and now if you're at home you don't want your kids to access uh, your social sites and uh, email accounts uh, or the messaging app because uh, they might uh, end up sending some message so th at that time you can enable the home profile and there are other profiles like party parental school uh, and uh, cafe so these are some of the profiles available six profiles are included and you can uh, select say for example uh, we just enable this app and uh, you can lock all the apps except for a few games which uh, your kid uh, regularly plays on your phone so you can just enable those apps and enable uh, this uh, parental uh, uh, profile and what happens is uh, even if your kid use the phone uh, he or she will not be able to access any of the apps except for the ones which are enabled for that profile so that's pretty useful because you can just swipe and enable the profile and uh, uh, that profile will be enabled and uh, what happens is that uh, all the apps which are listed under that profile will be enabled and uh, I mean logged and will not be able to access by others unless you provide the pin or the fingerprint so that's a pretty useful option uh, you can uh, see auto activate is also available turn on uh, your device Wi-Fi to enable it so let's just turn it on activate profiles uh, when you select the uh, I mean uh, particular Wi-Fi network say for example if you go home uh, your phone automatically connects to uh, a particular Wi-Fi network at your home what happens is that uh, the app will automatically switch to that profile and lock all the apps which you have selected in the home profile similarly when you get to office uh, your phone will connect to your office Wi-Fi network 
and uh, then uh, the app will again uh, automatically switch to office profile and uh, log all the apps under that profile so that's uh, uh, the auto auto so that's the auto activate option then uh, let's go to the media vault option so here we can uh, add uh, photos and videos that will be safe you can just add some photos here so let's just add some photos so we'll just add uh, from uh, camera add to vault so you can see here three uh, photos are added to word enable uninstall protection that's never lose all your files enable uninstall protection to avoid accident accidental deletion that means what happens is uh, now since uh, uh, uninstall protection is uh, prevention is not enabled what happens is if somebody deletes the app or uninstalls the app then uh, whatever is available in uh, uh, the vault will be deleted so what I, what you can do is you can just enable uh, protection uh, from uninstall and uh, that will be not deleted it will not be allowed to uninstall so that's another useful option now uh, we have just uh, unlocked it so now once you lock the your photos you, if you go to the gallery those photos will not be shown uh, by default there and it will be only available in the media world so whenever you want the photos you can just go here and uh, what you can do is uh, open the media world and access those photos so this is this is the uh, hex lock app and uh, this works really well we have tested it uh, on our phone and uh, works really well on android 6.0 marshmallow it is also supported on previous versions as well and uh, works really well so hex lock is free of cost uh, although uh, the free version does come with some limitations like ads uh, but it still works really well and uh, you can uh, create multiple i mean you, you have multiple profiles when you can activate uh, or add apps to locking uh, in different profiles and uh, also so there is media world where you can uh, add uh, your media files and then uh, uh, enable protection for those files so anyone using your camera gallery uh, will not be able to access those photos so this is the hex lock app uh, for android we have the link uh, for the app in the description of this video you can go ahead and uh, download the app it's a really useful app and a big thumbs up from us uh, it works really well so that's all guys uh, with the hex lock app uh, for android it protects your photos and uh, apps on your phone and uh, prevents unauthorized access so that's all guys thanks for watching this video have a great day